Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a reread of Conversion, developed and published by Hidden Valley. Now, there was a certain video I made. You saw it before, probably. I'll have it linked anyways. It was my initial reading of their Steam page and how horribly mangled the English language was. Now, it turns out the Hidden Valley team found that video and responded. They were not on drugs, nor were they drinking. They actually are Russian and Ukrainian. So, the fancy Russians, they are pretty good in what they do. So, I'm pretty sure with as big as what they claim, they can back it up. So, they said they updated the page. We shall reread it. But, I'm pretty sure you're asking right now, why am I dressed like a jester with a scarf? Well, that's kind of the point. I'm Jester, so I thought, why not wear the Jester hat once, at least here. A little jingly, little jingly. I have three knots in the horns, giggity giggity. And it's quite nice having a little scarf around my neck because it's nice black and white and has little white fringes on the bottom. So, while I stop being British because I have a scarf on me, let's continue forth and reread Conversion's page. Conversion with the Conversion green light teaser. So, let me begin about the game. We all know what happens. Shell deactivates GLaDOS, gets put in extended relaxation, only to be reawakened years later to fight again and escape. But what really happened in Aperture Science during the intervening years? Have you ever wondered why does Aperture look so different in Portal 2? Good work so far, guys. I'm loving it. There are holes in this story. Questions left unanswered. Conversion is here to fill some of those holes. You will see completely new locations of the Aperture Science facility and use new testing elements. You will travel with new companions and encounter new foes. I wonder what you guys are going to bring. I'm pretty interested in seeing more than just the fancy little turrets. Clickety click. Familiar constructs like that of GLaDOS, <laughs> GLaDOS, sorry guys, and Wheatley will return. In addition, new companions such as the Administration Corps August, the Security Corps, and Ben. Wasn't the Security Corps initially Ben in the first place? Well, it's a minor mistake. I think you can probably let it pass for now. And Ben will help you save Aperture Science. Some of our areas are F-Stop inspired, such as the Lost Complex. This area will feature new gameplay never before seen in a Portal game. Now I can scroll down a little bit so that you guys can see the rest of this. Did you think Portal games were too linear? Would you have liked to make more moral choices? It could be fun to use this conception in conversion, but here in Hidden Valley, we think that it is important to make gamers feel immersed and that their decisions have a very real impact on those. Oops, sorry, have a very real impact on their experience and their companions. We do not want to give you a press a button to choose an ending experience. You are the master of your story. No, minus a couple minor mistakes here and there, and me misreading once or twice. You guys did a lovely good job on this. And I think I'm stuck in this low voice. Sorry, guys. I don't think you mind, though. So, you guys actually also capitalized on the, um... <laughs> Oops, sorry, I'm probably in the wrong corner. You guys actually fixed the features and capitalized where <laughs> I made the comment. I was actually gushing when I first saw this, to be honest, because I actually had to look for myself and find out if they actually changed it. So, let's do a little reread and see how much it compares to the original once more. Let me just scroll down a little bit more. Ah, there we go, it's in. Main features, new Lost Aperture gameplay, non-linear plot, new characters, solid storyline extending the Portal universe. Ooh, yes. New testing elements, high energy pellet, pneumatic diversity vent, reflection gel, heavy duty thermal reflection panel, high energy ring, heavy duty super colliding super button reverse gravity field, HD SC SBR G F. And lastly, High Energy Thermal Discouragement Beam Battery. Nice work, guys. You did a nice little fix-up, and I love it. And I'm glad you guys had a laugh on the first video, because 
I was kind of worried after I found out halfway through the video that you guys might not be of American descent or have English as a first language. I was worried you guys might not have liked what I did. But apparently you guys liked it and you actually made the change. And I'm still gushing inside my head. I'm trying to restrain my little, oh my god, a changeling in this game. A changeling in this game, oh my god. Um, that's really, really cranked down for what I'm actually yelling in my head. No. Yeah, of course I pointed out. Steam Greenlight, it's indie, it's developed by them, and might I add, this is a free-to-play game, so when it does come out, you guys will all automatically have freedom to play it. And hopefully you won't really clog the Steam servers when it happens. So, Portal Fandom, I think you're looking forward to something good, because the gu these guys listen to the community. And I'm pretty sure you like it when developers listen. With, well, being within reason, because you don't need another World of Warcraft, now do we? So, other than that, I am very well satisfied in the change, and I'm still surprised I changed something in the gaming industry by a video. And, I actually, I know my boyfriend that did uh, mention the little mistakes earlier, so I took what he had and went from there. So, other than that, I think I'll just see you guys next time, since I can finally work on the little make fun of video for Amnesia, as I have found a pretty good recorder. So, other than that, I'm Jester De Rama. See you next time. Oh yeah, well, one more thing, uh, I forgot to say the name of my boyfriend in the video. His name's Pierce Smolder, you might know him as Bald Dumberat or Jitterbug Jive. Some of you know him, some of you don't. It doesn't really matter too much. But, now you know. Oh yeah, and before you ask, I'm pansexual. Meaning that, as long as there's consent, you're a responsible person, and you have an attractive personality, that's what I um, lean towards. Since I don't really care what you have, or what you may be, if who you are shows to be a great thing, well, I'm attracted to it. But I already have a boyfriend, so other than that, see you guys later once more. Sorry.